What is going on guys, MJ2205 Gundam here, and today I'm going to be unboxing the Hard Rate Gundam Love Phantom. Now I'm rarely going to be doing descriptions in this video just because I have a lot to announce. So after this and the Rio Grey Sazabi and the eventual like mobile doll Sarah, sorry I stuttered there, I forgot the name of her. So after those three kits, I'm not going to be doing any reviews until the Zeratchel comes out, which is the customized her roof for Gundam Build Divers Break. So yeah, the Shining Break, I, I'm i contemplating on getting it, but it is not really that special to me. And of course, we cannot forget about the Shinanju Stein High Grade, which is the narrative version. The narrative Gundam, which is bullshit because, well, not to say that the kit itself is crap. It's just to say that Bandai released it with the A equipment only. So from what I see online, you can only get the narrative Gundam with the A equipment, which is absolutely bullshit because you need to have the space and the money to get it to just have the narrative Gundam if you do not like the equipment. So that is out of the question. And of course, we cannot forget about the uh, the real grade unicorn Gundam, full armor to mind you. So. The, all those are phenomenal re phenomenal releases to the public, I will bet on that. However, I am not going to be reviewing them, just because I will be devoting some of my resources to Project Zodiac. And of course, I do not have the time to squeeze out and review those kits. So, and I also need to take a break from YouTube, just because you, you guys, I do not want to say that I don't like you guys, I, I in fact I do. Like you guys being sticking around, like listening to me rant about life, just how bullshit it is. But, well, I really do need to take a break to catch on my sanity because just managing you, the YouTube side of myself, and managing the the academic side of myself really just overwhelmed me. YouTube is a minor contributing factor to my pressure, mainly just because my results aren't up to snuff to basically meet the minimum requirements of university. So, yeah, I... And I am stressing about just managing my channel. Because, well... I really am paranoid of losing... Just losing you guys, because... Well, I may be just sticking with the mannerisms that I have back in the day, where I, if I do not keep you guys updated, or... Just basically not upload any content for a long period of time. I will lose some of you guys. However, well, there is content on my channel. So you feel free to go check them out while I'm gone. And of course, I will be updating you guys on my community page. So be sure to stay tuned on that. Because, well, I may not have the time to devote to making videos. Excuse me for the burp. I will have time to type out some stuff. Like, I can type out anything any time I want. Sorry, I just stuttered there again. Yeah, I am lost of words. Like, if even if I do not have any time to make a video of my updates, I may, I will have the time to basically just type out the updates. So be sure to stay tuned on that for my latest uh late, my latest condition. Just because I will not be, I'm not using social media anymore. I just have an Instagram and a Twitter and a Facebook. Just there to be there. I'm just there checking news and stuff. That is all I, that's all I do with my social media accounts for now. But when I get into university and I get my grip, I will be using those media, social media accounts as soon as I can. Now, okay, the camera angle is a bit weird here. Here's the instruction manual. Just basically the box art. The line art looks crap, especially the head. Like, when when I first saw this in the anime, I was doubtful that I would like this. But in fact, when I saw the kit, I like it. But the line art just doesn't do it justice. So even if I have to make a color custom of the Gundam of the Phantom, I will not be previewing my color custom with the line art just because the head looks crap. But anyways, we have the descriptions on the uh, on the suit, and then also the descriptions of Maggie, and then about diver looks. So this is basically just the Oasis. Like, I, it's too freaking late for me to make a series review for the Gonna Build Divers series. However, I will state that the actual, like, concept of GBN is actually possible in real life. Like, and it is, 
the juxtaposition of the release date of this and the release date of Ready Player One, well, <laughs> it is just uncanny how similar how similar the two universes are. Of course, Ready Player One has a lot of pop culture references, including Gundam, so that's a thing. But then Gundam Build Divers only. Even though it only sticks to Gundam, the base concept is the same. You sit down, wear a headset, maybe wear a boot suit or stuff, and just log into a virtual world, moving your whole body around. That is basically the next step to VR chat. But anyways, here we are, five page instruction manual. Of course, you have the uh, warnings for not to do, parse count for Japanese only order sheet and QR code, and then the key up here. And of course, we start with the strike freedom torso and then the head, right arm, left arm, feet, and then the right leg, right over here, right leg and left leg. Well, it is basically the pieces over here and then the uh, ankle armor that differentiates between the two, and then the waist over here, and then the rail guns, and then the love striker. It is called the love striker. Well, Time to grab out your uh, silhouette flyer, put an adapter, and just slam this thing on. Just because I really hate to see a striker pack un just, just not detachable and flying all around the place. Poor grammar, I'm sorry, I'm crap, crap at it grammar. But yep, I would like to see a, a an actual like thing to connect to the love striker and just basically fly them around. And then, of course, we have the pink scythe, which I will be spraying gunmetal, just because I do not like the pink handle, and I will have to spray it gunmetal nevertheless, just because I need the scythe for a custom later on. And then we have the beam shield, which is not shown off on, in the anime. And then we have the striker scythe, which is not shown off in the anime. And of course, we have the beam sabers over here. We cannot forget the iconic beam sabers of the Strike Freedom, can we? Now, this guy does not come with any beam saber beams, but, well, there are options for you guys. Of course, it was never stated as an official accessory, but there they are. You can use the beam sabers. So, this guy in total has five melee weapons. How? What a joy. But, well, despite the disappointment of the anime, I really hope this kit would do the, uh, to the Love Phantom justice. So, yep. As I just say, after this, this Real Grace Sasabi and the eventual release of the Mobile Doll Sarah review, I'm stopping here. It's until the Zeracho comes out. So, yep, I hope you guys will understand my disappearance. And, yep, be sure to stay tuned to my community page for my posts and updates. So, thank you all so much for watching and sticking around with me. And I'll see you all in the review.